Professional wrestling is filled with very talented people who have done horrible things. People with complicated histories that muddy up the discussion of their legacy. Recently, Kurt Angle had praise for Chris Benoit and his in-ring talent while understanding that he is also a person who killed his wife and child. Someone who carried out a plan and took the lives of two innocent people. The thing is, with Chris Benoit, you can't forget he still has a son, okay? The reason why I talk about him so much is because of his son. He is a living son right now that thinks the world of his father. I mean, he's forgiven him for what he's done. But when you have a living human being that absolutely idolized his father, and you're gonna say, I don't wanna talk about Chris Benoit because he's a piece of shit, and what he did to his family is horrible, what is that going to do for that kid? A lot of times when I talk about Chris, I get negative feedback on social media. But you can't excuse the fact that he was one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. Kurt's justification for praising Benoit was that Benoit's other son David still looked up to him and still loves professional wrestling. This sparked another round of internet debate of separating the art from the artist. The problem is that the fans aren't wrestlers. Kurt has a history with Benoit. He may have spent countless nights talking to Benoit and his family. You know, eat food, have drinks, uh, watch the WrestleMania that just transpired. Uh, so it, it's pretty cool environment and you get to converse with, you know, husbands and wives of the wrestlers and it, it's, it's a lot of fun and it can last all night if you wanted to, but most of us had to get up for raw the next day. He actually worked with the man himself. His view of wrestling comes from being a part of this fucked up industry and being someone who's put his body on the line to entertain us. The problem when fans claim that you can separate the art from the artist is that it never really acknowledges that fans tend to not be so good at that. Wrestlers like Shawn Michaels and CM Punk are seen as terrible people who are horrible to their favorite wrestlers, whose actions shouldn't get glossed over. We also have people like Hulk Hogan who have said some pretty fucked up things, or someone who's a better comparison, Sonny. A woman who defined a generation of female talent in professional wrestling but through the years has become hated for her actions backstage and outside of the world of wrestling. When the news came out that Sonny was sentenced for killing someone when she caught an accident while driving under the influence, there was no talk of separating the art from the artist. Chris Benoit, just in terms of talent, is probably one of my favorite performers, but he's also a murderer. He's a man who took the life of his family and never faced justice. He's a man who had a complicated situation and plenty of demons but he still took the life of two people who should be here today. I can understand that he is a great talent while admitting that he shouldn't get talked about for that talent without reminding fans of what he did. I'm fine with people separating the art from the artist, but you can't just do that with people you like. You can't just do that to be edgy or an internet contrarian. Wrestling invites a weird cast of characters. I'm sure there's a long list of stars we love that have been horrible people outside of the ring. But if you want to separate the art from the artist, you should at least come to terms with the actions of the artist. I'll leave you with how Paul Heyman reacted to a fan calling out Benoit's name in an attempt to heckle. Who's saying my boy? Why? Why? You could admire his work all you want, but I'll give you my take on it. Since you want to keep on yelling out my boy, three people died in that house that night. Only one person had the choice behind it. The other two didn't have a choice to die. So if that's your boy, f you. As a performer, amongst the five greatest I've ever seen in my entire life. So as a talent, remarkable. As a human being, I don't care about CTE. I don't care what the reasons are. Nancy and Daniel had no option. He did.